What is the difference between an anterior and posterior placenta? Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about a very significant topic in the world of obstetrics and gynecology, the positioning of the placenta during pregnancy, specifically, anterior and posterior placenta. We'll unravel what these terms mean, the differences between them, and their implications for both mom and baby. What is a placenta? Let's start with the basics. The placenta is a remarkable organ that forms during pregnancy, acting as a lifeline between the mother and the baby. Its role is crucial as it supplies oxygen and nutrients to the baby and removes waste products from the baby's blood. But did you know that the location of this organ in the uterus can vary? This brings us to our main topic. What is an anterior placenta? The term anterior placenta refers to when the placenta attaches to the front wall of the uterus towards the mother's abdomen. If you imagine the uterus as a room, the placenta in this case is attached to the front wall. It's perfectly normal and safe to have an anterior placenta. It doesn't affect the baby's growth and development. What is a posterior placenta? On the flip side, a posterior placenta means the placenta has attached to the back wall of the uterus towards the mother's spine. In our imaginary room, the placenta is now attached to the back wall. Just like the anterior position, having a posterior placenta is also completely normal and healthy. The difference between anterior and posterior placenta. While both anterior and posterior placentas are normal, there are slight differences that might be noticed. Firstly, mothers with an anterior placenta might feel the baby's movements a bit later than those with a posterior placenta. This is because the placenta cushions the baby's kicks towards the front of the belly. Secondly, during ultrasound scans, it can sometimes be more challenging to visualize the baby with an anterior placenta, again due to its front-facing position. Thirdly, some studies suggest a minor association between anterior placenta and a condition called back labor, which is characterized by intense pain in the lower back during labor. However, remember that many factors can influence labor experiences, and this is only one potential factor. To wrap up, both anterior and posterior placentas are normal variations with minimal impact on the course of pregnancy and delivery. However, they can slightly influence the timing of when you feel your baby move and the clarity of ultrasound images. Always remember, each pregnancy is unique and what's most important is the well-being of both mother and baby. We hope this video has been helpful in demystifying the concepts of anterior and posterior placenta. Thank you for watching.